All right, so we're going to be taking our notes on the cat breeds. So my going to write these in my ID section of my notebook. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and label at the very top left the notes are going to be ID notes cat breeds. I'm then going to place all of my cat breeds names on the left hand side of that paper. And then on the right hand side of the paper, I'll write my description of the breed and any unique characteristics. I'm also going to name date and session the top right hand corner of my notes, as that is our industry standard. Anytime that we have a piece of paper, we are going to date it and we are going to make sure that we name it. Uh, on the left hand side of the paper, you can just do three finger widths apart, and so more of this space is going to be on the right side, less space on the left side. Uh, so this is how our notes should be set up. And then we're going to go into our Google Classroom, and we're going to go in the Classwork section. We're going to scroll down to our Topics. We're going to see ID Quiz Resources, so we're going to click there. And then we will see our identification notes on cats. Uh, so you're going to notice that the ID Quiz for cats is due this Friday, and then the quiz is going to be removed in three weeks. Uh, so the first week, you will get full points. Second, The second week it's up, it'll be two points late, and then the third week it's up, it is three points late. Uh, so you're going to have all of the information that you need to take your notes in here. We have a cool, um, if you're interested in cat breeds and different cat breeds, we have the Cat Fanciers Association. This is the equivalent of the American Kennel Club. Uh, so if you want to take a look at some different cats and learn a little bit more about those different breeds, we have the Camp Fancier website right here for you. Uh, so... I'm going to go back here. I'm going to click on my Quizlet set and I'm going to start my flashcards for my cat reads. Uh, so I'm just going to take these notes from our Quizlet set. So the first thing that we're going to look at is a domestic short hair. So domestic short hair is going to be our very our common name for a mixed breed cat with short fur or a DSH. So when we check these into the clinic, they are going to be a DSH. Generally, this is a cat that has short fur. Um, it can have any variety of color pattern and eyes. Um, again, mixed breed cat with short fur. Next, we have a domestic medium hair cat. Uh, so a DMH, domestic medium hair cat, is going to be that with medium length hair. So a mixed breed cat with medium length fur. Uh, so again, this is a DMH. And then last we have of a mixed breed cat is going to be the domestic long haired cat, all right, or the DLH. Uh, you won't always see a DMH in your system at your clinics, uh, but definitely uh, domestic long hair or domestic short hair. Uh, so mixed breed cat with long fur is going to be your DLH. So those are just the mixed breed cats so that we can identify those uh, and have common language with that. Many of our cats that we have are going to be mixed breed and then we just differentiate them by the length of the fur. First cat we are going to actually be looking at is the Abyssinian. Uh, so the Abyssinian is going to have a foreign body type, ticked coats, a ruddy red, blue, or a cream coat. Uh, so that ticked coat is going, and we'll see that in a second, it is going to be very short. Um, for almost like uh, the soft side of Velcro, if you will. Um, that foreign body type is going to just be heavy in the lines. So you're going to see a lot of lines, a lot of angles. Um, and then the blue color is going to be a kind of a shiny gray. So we have the Abyssinian. So here we have is an Abyssinian. Uh, so again, this is just one of the many color coats it comes in. Um, and we can notice that ruffling of that fur. It's very short. Um, that is going to be that ticked coat. And then here we have those sharp lines around the ears um, and very, very long, very slender, lots of angles in this cat. So that's our Abyssinian. Next cat we have is a Burmese. So our Burmese cat is going to have a more rounded head, very large expressive eyes. They're going to come in sable, champagne, blue, or a platinum coat. Uh, and so this picture is the and that is, we can see a sable coat. We have a dark face with the dark paws and a dark tail. Uh, so that's our Burmese. It does still have kind of that ticked coat, um, but more of a rounded face here. And the eyes are fairly large in comparison to that Abyssinian. Next cat we have is a Maine Coon. 
love these. Uh, Maine Coons are awesome. They're super huge. Uh, so Maine Coons will be um, over three feet long, uh, including their tails. So they can definitely be very long and very large. Uh, head is slightly longer than it is wide, which is kind of interesting for cats because normally we're used to seeing a shorter muzzle. Uh, so their head is a little bit longer than it is going to be wide. On their ears, they are going to have a very wide base. They go to a point at the top and at the top of that point is a cute little little um, tuft of hair, tuft of fur. Uh, so that's going to be at the tip of those ears. Uh, so they will have a little tuft of fur and that tail is going to be as long as that torso is. Uh, so again, a very long body, um, a large, large cat. Definitely look up some pictures of Maine Coons. They are pretty awesome. Uh, so here is a Maine Coon. It does not look as long or large as it actually is, but it is super long. Uh, so this tail is just as long as the body is. Uh, and then you can see those little tufts of fur, that black. Those are the tufts of fur at the top. Um, they do come in a variety of colors as well, but they are going to be um, primarily that long coat. Uh, so this is more of a medium coat right here, but that tail is nice and long. That is a Maine Coon. Next we have is a Manx. Uh, so our Manx is very stocky with a dense double coat. They have a very compact body. So when we're talking about stocky, it's very much things are, are compact, right? So it's just going to be short, it's going to be square, it's going to be compact. The hind legs are longer than those front legs, so it almost looks as though the rear end of the animal is always sticking up. So if you have a cat that you've played with, um, right at the base of the tail and kind of rubbed right above its butt and they get really excited and they kind of lift their their rear end up a little bit more um, the manx is always in that position they come in all patterns all color coats all coat lengths uh, another interesting thing aside from that angled body uh, they are going to not have a tail so they will lack a tail uh, so this is your manx all right so here is your manx um, we can see that angle there all right, and then there is no tail on that behind. Next cat is going to be a Persian. This is what a very, very common cat type is a Persian. Uh, so uh, Persians are available in multitudes of colors and patterns. They're one of the most popular and well-recognized breeds, and they are also a long-haired breed of cat. Uh, so here we have is a Persian. Uh, so with these cats, you can take a look at their fur, tell me high maintenance or low maintenance uh, so absolutely going to be a time commitment if you are going to have one of these cats uh, that fine hair is going to get very easily matted so you need to make sure that you have the time and commitment to brush out those coats next we have our Russian blue uh, so Russian blue there's two very distinct features on our Russian blue and those Russian blues many people are going to come into the clinic and be like, I have a Russian blue um, and I'm not trying to offend anybody, but many people do not actually have Russian blues. They just have a blue cat and it doesn't mean the cat's sad. It means the cat is a silvery gray color. Uh, so Russian blues need to have those brilliant, brilliant green eyes. Uh, they're going to be very vibrant green. Uh, their coats are also going to be very short, plush, uh, very similar to that Abyssinian, that tucked, uh, ticked coat. Um, and then there's going to be silvery blue. Um, and solid. So this is going to be those two big characteristics of a Russian blue. Uh, so here we have a Russian blue. So we can see those brilliant green eyes. Again, those are a big distinguishing factor. Also very silvery, silver gray coat. Uh, so that's that blue color. And we can see kind of those ripples in the coat, in that fur of the cat, because it's not laying smooth. It's more of that ticked coat. So it's very plush, very soft. Uh, next cat many of you have heard of is a Siamese cat. Uh, Siamese are pretty reclusive, uh, so they uh, can be timid. They are one of the oldest and most recognized breeds of cats. They have these brilliant, brilliant blue, beautiful eyes, uh, very dark color points against a light colored body. So they can come in different color morphs, um, but we're going to continue to see the dark color points of the ears, the tail, the paws against a lighter color body. And they have a very, very short, short coat. Uh, so here is our Siamese, very slender, again, lots of angles. This would be that foreign body type, similar to that Abyssinian, uh, where we have all these very sharp lines, especially in the face. Uh, and you can see the dark tipped ears, the dark muzzle, dark tipped 
paws, as well as the tail. Next, we have an American short hair, not to be confused with a domestic short hair. So an American short hair is going to be short, soft fur. Um, they are going to be a smaller cat, 7 to 12 pounds. So we are really looking to have a more reduced size cat. Uh, and then here we have this lovely, luscious, large round face. Uh, this beautiful, exotic um, pattern of, on the color coat. And so we can see that they have fairly short legs so compared to the rest of their tail. Even their ears are kind of shorter on that end. Um, very large, rounded face, um, but compact. Again, this is an American short hair cat, not to be confused with a domestic short hair cat. Next we have is a rag doll. So rag dolls are long haired, blue eyes, and long body. So they are going to have a fairly long torso, long body. Uh, so we're going to see that nice length, also long hair, and those brilliant blue eyes. So here is our rag doll. Um, and again, we can see those brilliant blue eyes, that long, long fur. Okay, right there. That's our rag doll. Again, high maintenance or low maintenance. Next, we have a sphinx. So we kind of go from one extreme to another. So we just had that rag doll with lots and lots of fur. And now we have a sphinx. So a sphinx is going to have no fur, has very oily skin, uh, extremely large ears that are often prone to um, infections and constant cleaning. So you do need to make sure that you are cleaning those ears regularly because again, they're very oily. Uh, they have pointed elongated muzzles. Uh, so they're a super interesting cat. Um, here we have a picture of a sphinx. This is a calico sphinx, although it doesn't have that fur, uh, except for, yep, it's just kind of a fuzzy picture. Uh, it still does have coloring and spots on it. So that spotting, that color pattern is actually on the skin of the animal. So all of this color is on the skin of the animal. And we can see those very, very large ears, right? And so we definitely need to clean those ears out um, continually so we don't get infections uh, in our animals and keep those nice and clean. So that is going to be our cats.